Hi, my name is Dr. Ben Thompson with treblehealth.com. Today's video will focus on the four best earplugs for tinnitus. If you have ringing in the ears and it bothers you, you're probably cautious around certain loud sounds. Well, I'm here as an audiologist who cares a lot about tinnitus to tell you that there are strategies you can take to protect your hearing and limit any tinnitus spikes that might come about after loud noise exposure. Protecting your hearing is a routine habit that I want you to follow, whether you have an interest with music, machinery, gunfire, or something else. Protecting your ears around loud noises is good for your health, and let me say, it's mandatory. You may be wondering which kind of earplugs, what kind of hearing protection is best, Today's video will talk about the pros and cons of the four main styles of earplugs, when to use them, and how to use them. I really hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. And as you know, we're doing a special giveaway that if you follow the link below this video, you can get one of our best highly rated sound machines, the Sound Oasis, which is a $60 value. You can get this for free sent to your home. And all you have to do is follow the link below this video and exchange your email address to join the Tinnitus Relief newsletter, where you'll then be entered to win one of our Sound Oasis machines. We'll be announcing them every week on the Sunday video, and you'll qualify as long as you're on our email newsletter. You followed the link below this video to sign up for the giveaway, and you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Let's get ahead with the video, starting with foam earplugs. It's worth noting that most foam earplugs are one size fits all. However, you can find some smaller size foam earplugs that may be suited for children. Foam earplugs can be great. They're affordable. You can find them almost anywhere at any pharmacy. They have some of the highest noise reduction rating or NRR as you may see on the packaging. However, it can be tricky to put them in your ears. What I know is that many people struggle putting foam earplugs in their ears. If you look at musicians who might use foam earplugs, for example, they're almost falling out of their ear. They're so far out. What we learn in audiology graduate school, what we learn in the audiology profession is that you have to really roll those foam earplugs, lift up your ear and put the earplug in your ear, waiting about five seconds for the foam to expand. So the proper insertion on those foam earplugs is crucial. If you're looking to reduce a lot of noise, for example, being at a loud show, concert, being around machinery, gunfire, foam earplugs are a great start. Second earplug style on this list are non-custom earplugs. I would consider these reusable earplugs. There are different brands that sell these. They're typically between $20 and $50 for these earplugs. Uh, brands like Edamonic or Earpiece come to mind. And the good ones will have different filter strengths that you can change yourself depending on the environment you're in. For example, some of you may feel like a movie theater would trigger your tinnitus. And if that's the case, you may wanna wear earplugs at a movie theater but you don't need to block out so much sound. So using foam earplugs at a movie might be blocking out too much sound. Therefore, using these reusable earplugs that range between 20 and $50 can be a great tool because you can change the filter strength depending on the environment you're in. If you're at a rock concert, definitely use the maximum filter strength. If you're just at a movie or somewhere that's somewhat noisy, maybe a party, you can use these lower strength earplugs. So those typically range between 10 and 25 decibels from the filter strengths. And having that on your keychain is a great way to have earplugs and consistently feel safe no matter what environment you're in. Now, of course, these cost more than foam earplugs, but there's also a sustainability factor because it's better for the environment to buy one set of earplugs and use them for years as opposed to reusing and disposing and throwing away foam earplugs into a landfill. This is a short break from today's video to announce the Tinnitus Guide by Treble Health. Do you want to learn about the newest tinnitus treatments and management tips? Click the link in the description of this video to get your free copy of the Tinnitus Guide by Treble Health. 
If you're enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel here. I'm gonna continue with the other two styles of earplugs. Next up, we have custom musicians earplugs. If you go to an audiologist, you can ask for a custom mold of your ear canal. And what the audiologist will do is they'll put some putty inside of your ear canal. And through their professional technique, what we do is we remove that putty and with it holds the contours, holds the shape of your ear canal. With that shape, we can send it to a lab to have 3D printing create this earplug mold, which you can put in your ears and it feels so comfortable because it's made of silicone that is perfectly shaped for your ear. You can order it in a specific color you want, and then you can also ask for the different filter strengths, which you can change out depending on the environment you're in. So that's a great reusable earplug. It's around $200 for the pair, all included with the audiology service for taking the mold, plus the plugs themselves usually go for around $200 a pair. It's most common to use these for musicians, people who work in machinery, people who work around gunfire, but also those who might want some earplugs for sleeping could also get these kinds of earplugs. But for tinnitus, it's mainly going to be used in those loud noise environments. And it's definitely recommended to get the earplug filters so you can switch depending on the environment you're in. I've used that kind of silicone earplug material before, and I had some that lasted me about four years. You can reuse them. You can take out the filter and wash them. They're very good to have, especially if you're an avid concert goer, work around loud machinery or gunfire. Those filters come in varying degrees of strength, but typically again, between 10 and 25 decibels is the range which you can expect there. If you want some milder noise reduction, then using between 10 and 15 decibels is a good bet. If you want the maximum, then between 20 and 30 would be a good uh, filter strength to shoot for. And that's definitely gonna protect your hearing around loud noises. You can be sure of that. Last on our list here, we have musician in-ear monitors. These are earplugs that are also taken custom. And then inside of the earplug, there's a speaker and a cord coming from it. And if you've seen musicians on stage with pieces in their ear, they use this earplug and then they have the actual sound from the show being played through their ears at a lower level than it otherwise would without anything in their ears so that they can control the sound entering their ears so it's not so loud. So for musicians who want to protect their hearing or musicians that have tinnitus, it is a good idea to consider custom in-ear monitors. Now, those devices in your ears, you can still have very loud levels of sound. It's just a matter of how loud you set the input. So be cautious about your loudness setting if you are a musician who's using those custom in-ear monitors for your tinnitus or for your hearing conservation. Just be mindful that just because you have in-ear monitors doesn't mean you're using them properly. Make sure they're not too loud. In-ear monitors do have a higher cost because the technology inside of the molds is expensive and sometimes you need multiple ear molds to get the perfect fit because you're going to be singing with these likely so you're going to be moving your jaw a lot and that can be a tricky fit thank you for watching this video my name is dr ben with treblehealth.com make sure you qualify to get the free sound machine for tinnitus highly valuable for our community and all you need to do is follow the link below this video to exchange your email address you'll join the tinnitus relief newsletter and every week we'll be announcing a new winner so that we send this sound machine to you and you get to use it and help with some tinnitus relief courtesy of treble health thanks for watching this video please remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye bye Thank you for watching today's video with Treble Health. Check out our next video by clicking the button on this screen or another recommended video. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. See you on the next video.